Welcome to another Lost in the World video. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching. I wanted to give the community and everybody on the channel an idea of what we're doing going forward. As a channel, we're going to have a basis of Genshin Impact and then we're going to be branching out into other games when the big games get released. It's just to give our community a variety of content and a look into what other consoles and other games can bring. You know, we love gaming uh, as much as we love Genshin and we just want to share it with you all. So without further ado, let's get into our list. This is in chronological order of what we'll be doing. If it's an older game, their position there might change a little bit, but generally chronological order. Let's go. Well, of course, we can't have any list about what we're going to be playing on the channel in 2021 without talking about Genshin Impact. Like I said on the intro, we love Genshin Impact and we will be playing a lot of it. Every event, every character, giveaways for every five star. We'll be doing loads of extra stuff to help people out. Loads of fun stuff just to make the journey and the whole progress cycle of Genshin a lot more fun. Telling our moderately funny jokes as we go along. We will always have Genshin in our heart. And as long as Mihoyu support us with new content, we'll be pushing out the Genshin content all day, every day. Number two will be Outriders. I am a looter shooter player at my car, as are a few of my friends, and we are actually looking forward to Outriders to possibly fill the destiny hole in our hearts. We really hope it lives up to its potential. It is not going to be a pay-as-you-go service. It's going to be a game that's fully complete out of the box with full end game content, full RPG elements and looter shooter mechanics. We're really looking forward to it. We are excited to play it and we live in hope that it can be what Destiny failed to be. If you don't know about the game, just have a YouTube of it. It's basically Destiny meets Diablo meets Division along those lines. Number three, Resident Evil 8. Now I will need everybody's support on this because I am the biggest scaredy cat going. But the hype for Resident Evil 8 is huge and I think it provides an opportunity to have some really fun gameplay both live on stream and through content creation because I am going to be jumping all over the shop. I will need your moral and emotional support while I play this and I'm actually looking forward to it. I, I like to tackle my fears in games and playing scary games is definitely one of my fears. Number 4 Ratchet & Clank Now I am not normally a platform game player however Having read around the new Ratchet and Clank and seeing the trailer and how absolutely unbelievable it looks on the PS5, this is a game I cannot say no to. It'll provide a really nice change of pace compared to the other games I play. And I think after playing Resident Evil, I'm definitely going to need some uh, light humour and Ratchet and Clank style happiness in my life. This looks brilliant. The set pieces look fantastic and any of you who have watched my reviews know I love a good boss fight and Ratchet and Clank is full of them. Number five, Doom Eternal. So I have not actually played much of the original remake of Doom. I have got Doom Eternal and I really want to play it live on stream. So that is a game I'll be sandwiching in at some point and doing an over and under on. I have an FPS professional background, so I'm really looking forward to just showing off some of my uh, boomer skills on Doom Eternal. And I hope I can provide some solid entertainment. It looks a hell of a lot of fun, no pun intended. And I will be getting into Doom Eternal, hopefully, very soon. Number six, Little Devil Inside. Little Devil Inside just looks like a unique experience. It's kind of like Monster Hunter World, possibly meets a little bit of Dark Souls. Not a huge amount is known about it, but I'm sure you'll agree just by watching the background footage, it looks really, really special. And I am very intrigued by it and I'm definitely going to be giving it a go with an open mind. And I think it could be fantastic. Number seven, Halo Infinite. I think it would be criminal of me to not play a new Halo release, especially a game that is made for the next generation of console gaming. I know the initial views weren't great, but I think I will definitely be giving it a go. I have actually never fully played a Halo game. I never had an Xbox. And I've never gone back through the old catalogue, so I'm really excited to go through a fresh Halo experience from the beginning without any previous knowledge of the games. Really looking forward to it. I'm excited to see what it can do for me. Number eight, Diablo 4. For those who don't know, my love affair with looter games started with Diablo 2 when I was about 15 years old. And there's no way I'll be passing up the ability to play Diablo 4. It looks unreal. It looks like the talent trees and skill trees are exactly what Diablo is about. 
and I think it will be very difficult for anybody with a background in Diablo to ever turn down a new Diablo game. Massively hyped for this, really hoping it does come out this year, and yes, I'll be spending a lot of time on Diablo 4. Number 9, Elden Ring. Now I see you in the background there laughing, stop laughing. Elden Ring is real and it's coming out. Made by the creator of Dark Souls and Bloodborne and made in conjunction with George R. R. Martin, the creator of the Game of Thrones series, it just looks like a match made in heaven. This game has to happen and it has to be the best thing we've all ever seen with our own eyes. If it lives up to even half the hype, this is going to be a mind-blowing experience for everybody involved. If you don't know about it, just read up about it. If you've never played Bloodborne, Sekiro or Dark Souls, and you've never heard of Game of Thrones, then um, are you even real? Okay, and that's where we'll leave it. I'll leave the background footage of Elden Ring running. Is there any games we missed? Are you excited about any of those games that we've mentioned? Is there any games you think you'd love to see us play that we have completely missed the ball on? Let me know in the comments. Like always, please share the channel with people. Please share it with other video gamers we love. We love Genshin, we also just love gaming, so get it out there, get the word out there. Thank you very much for watching, take care, and yes, Elden Ring does exist.